Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to simplify expressions with roots. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. We're given two problems here. We want to simplify the square root of 144 and negative square root of 289. Now, notice again, when we see the square root symbol, in the square root 2 root. Later on, we'll talk about third root, fourth root, fifth root, etc. When it's square root, it's opposite of what's squared. So with square root of 144, I need to ask myself, well, what number squared gets me 144? And hopefully, some of the stuff you'll have memorized. Uh, maybe not, maybe you do. But if you do, 12 squared gives me 144. So with that being said, 12 squared, 12 times 12, is 144. We would say then the square root of 144 is a 12. We also can see it, if we want to break it down like this, 144 is a 12 times a 12. We got two 12s being multiplied, boom. Either way, our answer is 12. The next one's a little more difficult. This is a more uncommon one to have memorized. 289. Is there any number squared that equals 289? And that's going to be a 17. 17 squared is a 289. 17 times 17, right? If you want to put that here, kind of fit that in. So since 17 squared is 289, the square root of 289 is a 17, but we cannot forget that good old negative sign. Negative sign is outside of the square root, and so we have to keep that there. And so the negative times the square root of 289 is just a negative 17. I hope you learned something here on how to simplify expressions with roots. If you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.